the Shibuya incident arc will break the internet and y'all are not ready for it. With the hidden inventory arc wrapping up in the anime, we are only a few weeks away from the start of the Shibuya incident arc. This arc gets recognized as one of the best in recent shonen and for good reason. It has it all. Plot twists, amazing fights, devastating deaths, and it changes the direction of the story in so many major ways. And with the way that MAPPA is handling the first few episodes of the new season, you already know we are about to be eating good. Spoiler, Spoiler warning. warning. Spoiler, Spoiler warning. warning. As we are now going to go into manga territory. So if you want to remain anime only, go and watch my season 1 recap of Jujutsu Kaisen instead. The Sealing of Satoru Gojo The arc even starts off on a madness. Sealing Gojo has been the main objective of Ghetto and the Cursed Spirits from the jump. And they pull up on Gojo at the train station after trapping a shit ton of civilians inside. But Gojo is him this fight. An absolute fucking menace. Disrespecting the Cursed Spirits every chance he gets with a devious smile on his face. He brutally murks Hanami and look at this panel, bro. <laughs> bro really said next. Jesus. Pulling off insane feet after insane feet. He even pulls off a domain expansion of 0.2 seconds in which he kills a thousand transfigured humans. Absolute madman. But it takes a turn when Ghetto pulls up with the prism realm to trap Gojo. Gojo cannot understand what is happening because he killed his boo himself a year prior. Ghetto also reveals that he ain't really Ghetto, but this Krang from the Ninja Turtles looking ass called Kenjaku who hijacked Ghetto's body after he passed away. As then, Gojo is sealed and the arc gets sent into a downward spiral. Now this alone would make this arc absolutely insane, but let's move on. Toji's Resurrection now, you got these old bastards who are still salty that Gojo scared the shit out of them back in the day. That they now joined Ghetto's plan. So, while Mr. Mustache is beefing with Yuji and Megami, the old hag uses her cursed technique to reincarnate Toji through her grandson to fight Ino. Toji absolutely manhandles him of course because it's Toji and straight up says, Ayo fuck this cursed technique, I'm him and gains control of his body and mercs the old lady. Now elsewhere, Naobito, Nanami and Maki are fighting Dagon and get trapped in its domain expansion. But Megami comes in clutch with his own domain expansion and forces open a hole for them to escape from. But suddenly, the dog decides to pop in and beats Dagon's ass. To then afterwards, try to give his son a little spanking. You know, father of the goddamn year award right there. But he then offs himself when Megami says he took on the Fushiguro name. And you know that the thing is, Megami doesn't even know that he was fighting his father. All right, moving on. Sukuna's Rampage. After beating Mustache Man, Yuji runs into Choso and they have a dope ass scrap. Ending with Yuji getting knocked out, and we quite possibly get the first glimpse of Yuji's curse technique sending Choso into a flashback, making him think they're brothers, prompting him to walk away. Then these girls and Jogo pull up with a shit ton of Sukuna's fingers, feeding them all to Yuji, which in turn unleashes a 15 finger Sukuna. And let's be honest, Sukuna just continues to be a menace wherever he is, man. He mercs Geto's girls and then goes on to play with Jogo for a little bit. And by the way, Jogo has got to be the most unlucky guy in the whole verse. Being so insanely strong, but facing two of the most OP motherfuckers in JJK. Anyway, Sukuna toys with him a little bit more, but eventually finishes him with a dope ass new fire technique. Then an old accomplice of Sukuna shows her face. Uraume comes in, but Sukuna suddenly senses that Megami is half dead. You see, Megami was backstabbed after the Toji fight by the dude that Nanami absolutely clapped. And as a last resort, Megami summons Maharaga. Sukuna saves Megami and proceeds to fight Maharaga. Maharaga is a Shikigami that adapts to attacks thrown at it. So it put up a good fight against the King of Curses. But Sukuna uses 
his domain expansion on everything in a 200 meter radius and before it can adapt it finishes it with a fire arrow then once he has defeated maharaga he swaps out with yuji to mentally torture this man just a little bit more yuji's mental breakdown and get back so after bearing the guilt of killing thousands yuji steals his resolve and heads back into the train station where he runs into mahito killing our favorite daddy nanami fucking rest in peace man which still doesn't make him fully break down i mean goddamn yuji's a goddamn man then as they are scrapping elsewhere nobara is fighting mahito's clone who leads her to yuji and the main body mahito then lands a direct hit onto nobara supposedly killing her too and that is where yuji breaks down i mean can we blame the guy he has had blow after blow after blow without a break i mean holy shit but then best of friend or toto comes in for the save and reminds him what a man among men he truly is the ass whooping goes back and forth and mahito puts up a good fight with a 0.2 second domain expansion of his own that he learned from his fight against gojo and unleashes his final form as well but yuji eventually black flashes him and beats him within an inch of his life and literally dog walks his ass i mean let's be honest i'm so glad yuji got his gap back on mahito he deserved it after what he've done to junpei after what he've done to nanami and nanobara he deserved to die but then fucking fake ghetto slash kenjaku comes in and ks's this man as he absorbs mahito and slaps yuji around until the kyoto class arrives to help him but urome comes in to freeze them all to protect ghetto then suddenly the third special grade sorcerer yuki tsukumo then arrives but unfortunately, she cannot do much as Ghetto escapes through summoning loads of curses. And as he leaves, he decides to taunt Yuji just a little bit more. And that is kind of the gist of the whole arc. The ramifications it has on the story to this day cannot be understated. As this is also the last time we would see Gojo in the manga for about three years. So enjoy him this season as much as you can because it's gonna be a while before he returns in the anime after this. I am honestly so hyped to see this whole thing animated. It's gonna be absolutely crazy. I already know Mappa is gonna knock it out of the park and we're just gonna be feasting our eyes. So let me know down in the comments below what you're looking forward to the most. And with that being said, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. Bye-bye.